about to do? We're <laughs> about to close. Oh my god, this is not about you. <laughs> this video is not about her. She always tries to make it about her. The day has come. <laughs> we are on the way to close on my personal residence, which has taken forever. Our. Our personal <laughs> <laughs> Our house She's, with a gym. She's not signing any papers. Um, I'm putting my hand right where your hand is. Shut up. <laughs> like together. So um, I'm buying a house. We're buying a house in Miami after renting for years. I, w I went from living from my mom's house. I mean, living in my mom's house and being born and raised here to then going, going and moving on my own, finding my own apartment. And then for like five, six years, I've been renting here in, in South Florida, all the way from Miami Lakes, Brick or whatever. If you're from here, you know what I'm talking about. And the rents have skyrocketed in the last year. Like literally, we we're paying $3,100 for a dope ass condo, 56th floor. I love that place. And then the rents went up to six or $7,000 for that same exact condo. So it has been insane. So I figured the smartest thing to do would be to buy a house and end up just paying for my own shit and making it really cool, having a pool, all that stuff. And so that's what we're doing. And it has been the craziest process to close this deal. Uh, when you're self-employed, there's so many things that you have to like prove bank statements and W-2s and this and that, 1099s and 1040Cs and 1206B and lug nut bolt 3685-1738, Remy Martins, and I don't even know what else. So it has been a really, really lengthy process to close this deal. And I'm gonna go into it more detail, but I just want to make this little vlog style showing the behind the scenes here uh I'm buying a house in miami it's for six hundred nineteen thousand dollars um and that's really what it's worth it's all fixed up already um i kind of got it through like a friends and family type deal but um it got appraised for that exact amount 619 that's what we're gonna buy it and um, i'm gonna take you behind the scenes of us closing and i'll show you some videos of the house here in this video and um and then you can see what it's like to buy a house in miami all right, so welcome to the inside of the house. We closed yesterday. It was bittersweet. So I'm so happy. And let me show you guys what we're working with here. So this house, I actually bought it from a flipper. I don't know why I touched this like this. Yes, baby. <laughs> we bought it from a flipper. So it's pretty much renovated already, right? This is the front door when you come in. It's got this cool little like, I don't know, chill area. It's an old Spanish style house. I'll show you the back of the house now. Then it's got like real wood floors here, which is cool. It's got this little like chimney thing that like, I don't know what the, like, what the fuck do I do with that? And I'm gonna share with you some of our plans. So this is like one of the rooms. It's a nice room here, bathroom. Now our plan is we're going to knock down this wall. So if you, let me, let me see if you can uh, put it in perspective, right? So this is the living room. Notice here, like there's not much living room area. It's kind of like, I don't know, it sucks. It's like small, it's like eh. <laughs> now I want to knock this whole thing down. And then what we're going to do is, this is the um, AC and this is like the washer dryer connection. So what we're going to do is that we're going to push, we're going to knock down this wall as well. Cause notice this is like, this wall is like, it's a lot, right? And it's just intruding onto the space. So we're gonna knock down this wall and push everything into this closet. So the washer dryer is gonna be here and um, the AC unit's also gonna be in there. We're gonna remove that, obviously. So then when you come in, this is gonna be just a big open space. And this is gonna be open. It's gonna be a massive, just like, badass like thing, okay? I don't even know what to call it. There's a little half bathroom here, pretty cool. This is the kitchen. We got some uh, Bang Energy. Bam, I'm not uh, promoting them. I got some pretty shitty coffee that I got down the street. Another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change these backsplashes. We kind of, I don't know, I didn't, I wasn't in love with them. This is decent. Uh, notice like this stuff is new. <laughs> All right, and then here we got another room. So it's a three bed, two and a half bath. Here's another room here. And then here's the bathroom. Uh, and then there's a closet here. So this is what's gonna be the master room. It's kind of small, actually. Uh, me and my girlfriend barely, barely Gary Fane. <laughs> me and my girlfriend barely fit in this bitch, but 
We'll make the most out of it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this wall poof, and make this a big walk-in closet here. Cause you know, that little fucker is not gonna support our, uh, our clothing. And this is the bathroom that matches this one. Little guy. Um, and let me, let me take you to the backyard. The backyard of the crib. Bam. Boom. So this is the backyard. So a nice backyard. Um, let's go down the little steps here. It's got like a little side cage. This is what's gonna be the pool. So we drew this out. So it's gonna be a nice sized pool. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna run all the way to the end. We made it, we did the plans with an architect and we made it all legit. And then right here, like in the back part, we're gonna have a nice sized jacuzzi for about eight people. Boom, and it's gonna pop up out of the pool and um, it's gonna be sick. So I could uh, have a jacuzzi, have a koozie. Actually like the main thing I, I really used to love about living in condo buildings here in Miami is like the jacuzzis. I fucking love jacuzzis. I, I would like always be in there. If you wanna find me, catch me in the koozie. Now look at the, this is the AC in the back of the house. Let me show you like the look. I haven't showed you the front of the house. So yeah, and then I'm gonna put huge like trees and plants and like, um, shrubs bushes um i wanted to get all the way to nine feet basically for privacy like i don't want to be able to see any of my neighbors i don't want any of my neighbors to see me so this is kind of like the look of the outside of the house uh it's pretty cool man it's a cool looking house it's what they call an old spanish house this house was actually built in 1920 bro 1920s when this house was built so um this thing is sturdy and we bought this house for $619,000. Um, I did financing, I did, I put 10% down and the interest rate I got was 3.3%. I don't know if you guys really care about that, but um, you know, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So this is the outside of the crib. This is the outside of it here. Voila. And then we're also gonna do pavers on the driveway like pavers with artificial grass in the middle, um, all around. But we're gonna do that once we're done because to get to the pool back there, the trucks have to come in here and they're gonna fuck it all up. So um, we're gonna do that way after at the end, we're gonna make this driveway super sick. We're gonna have, we're gonna leave this in the middle, put like plants here, plants here. We're gonna put pavers, which is like those big squares with um, artificial grass in the middle. This is gonna be a driveway. This is gonna be a drive, this is gonna be grass and that's gonna be a cool driveway. And that's how we're going to do it, my friend. So that's the crib. You know, it's a bittersweet moment. I mean, I've been renting for years. I, uh, it was a pretty long, pretty like quick decision actually to buy this. Rents were going up like crazy. Where I was living was $3,000 a month. Then they wanted to raise it to $7,000 a month in one year in Miami. It was a dope ass apartment though. 56 floor. Amazing. And I'm like, man, I, that's like, let's say I do pay 7,000 a year. That's $96,000 that in two years is 200 grand that I paid to a landlord just to like live. So I started looking and got this house. Is it my dream house? No, I'm going to make it as cool as I fucking can because I can. <laughs> uh, but no, my dream house is, in, you know, in the millions on the, on the water and stuff, but I'm not there yet to be real. I'm just not, I can't afford a $3 million house right now. So I didn't really want to play in the middle and get like a million dollar house because that wasn't gonna be my dream house either. So I'm like, all right, I might as well get like a chill, cool little house, make it as dope as I can. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna end up Airbnb in this place with the pool and everything. And this place should make me about 15 grand a month on Airbnb in this area. So um, I think I see it as an investment, it's a good play. My mortgage and everything's like 3,300 bucks a month. Um, I'm sorry, 3,400 bucks a month with everything. And I get to pay off my own house. I mean, that's that's pretty cool, you know. Um, I was back and forth a lot with the idea of like, oh, that money should be invested and this and that, you know. Grant Cardone talks a lot about that. Other financial people talk a lot about that. But man, I just, the overarching idea of $90,000 a year to some asshole that's a landlord just didn't sit well with me. I'm like, all right, I get it. But I'd rather put the money down and pay that 90 grand a year to myself and within two or three years, I'll have my money back. 
quote unquote, because the same quality of life is uh, is here for way cheaper. So yeah, that is the house. That is the decision. Looks kind of nice, even though my, my car's dirty F. Ugh. But my girl never cleans that shit, man. <laughs> uh, so this is her. So I'll keep you guys, I'll probably post another video and show you guys the progress as we do that. We're gonna tear down some walls and stuff. Then I'm gonna move in. Then we're gonna build a pool. We're gonna put artwork. We got an interior designer to help us. So it's gonna be dope. Um, so thank you guys for following. If you like my channel, like this, subscribe. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.